we actually have full access to the DOM in the JavaScript console. If you type document, you can see what is returned is the entire DOM document. Contained within it is the HTML of the page and the HTML tag. The other top level object available is the window. The window corresponds to the browser window and the document corresponds to the HTML page that's been loaded. One thing that you may want to do when working with D3 is select elements of a web page either by something like their class, their ID, or even just what type of tag they are. But the way D3 actually does its selections is based on the native DOM selection API that gets exposed through native JavaScript. If we would say like to access a DOM node by its ID, we can call the appropriate selector function on the document itself. If you notice here, if I type document.get, Chrome is smart enough to autocomplete what function I might want, but if there's multiple options, it shows me all of them. As you can see here, I can get an element by its ID, I can get multiple elements by their class name, I can get multiple elements by their name, I can get multiple elements by their tag name, and so forth. Typically, you never need to access the DOM from this low level of a function due to the wealth of libraries that make selecting elements much more convenient. One of the most popular is jQuery, and D3 has a very similar method of selecting DOM nodes as jQuery does. But for now, let's start with the simplest and try to get an element by its ID. If we try to get the footer, this is going to look for a DOM node that has ID equal to footer. And what we see here is a div tag ID equal to footer, and we can expand this and see everything that's contained within it. The second and last query function defined in the DOM is what's called query selector. Query selector is actually much more general than get element by ID and is what D3 uses internally. Query selector allows us to use CSS selector syntax to grab DOM elements. If you're not familiar with CSS query selector syntax, I recommend looking it up as it's a very powerful syntax. The simplest and most commonly used CSS query selector is probably the class selector. If you prepend a dot to whatever class you're searching for, the document.querySelector will find the DOM nodes that have a class, in this case, a viewer main. As you can see here, viewer main corresponds to the main window that the video player is in. And this is actually the same object that gets returned down here. Notice if I hover over the DOM node in the console or in the HTML frame up here, Chrome's smart enough to know that I'm trying to inspect the DOM node, in this case a div with class viewer main, and highlights it for me in the left pane. 